Howdy folks, Max Caveman here, bringing you Not For Trade, a series where I try and build the most expensive folder I can, as if I'm a child, just to show to people how much a young kid could, in theory, have in their collection, um, buying small amounts of product and whatnot. Um, in today's video, I am going to be opening up a box of the Pokemon Go Special Collection Team Valor. Um, the reason I am opening this instead of any of the Crown Zenith is because this is actually available at the moment. While the Crown Zenith stuff has been uh, out of print, out of stock at my local um, stores, and I want to redeem Pokemon. Uh, in the previous episode, I did not get anything for the folder again, so. Hopefully I can't, well, I know for certain that this Candela is going to make it into the folder today, just barely. Um, so hopefully one of these other six packs has something good in it. Um, that being said, I am seriously tempted at the moment to give um, Pokemon a break for um, this series because it's a high rarity or bust style card game and it makes, I mean that's with most card games um, but I feel like it's more prevalent with Pokemon at the moment so you have to get either a um, A full art like this and above. Oops. Let's see if I can get this in focus. A full art like this, or hopefully a V Pokemon that isn't one of the low ends. Um, and I have been pulling a lot of the low end Vs at the moment. So, I do also get this pin. I am not counting this. Um, some people might for um, might think you get that. Um, you do get a code card. I will put that out for whoever grabs it. Um, so, six packs here. We are mainly going to be looking for a Mewtwo or... And this is most likely what's going to happen is I'm going to pull a Radiant Charizard. Um, I would love to pull a Radiant Blastoise, however. Um, but it has been some time since I got a good Pokemon pull. Um, so best of luck here. So starting off with, we have a Dark Energy, War Turtle, Ivysaur, Pokestop, Bidoof, Magikarp, Apom, Tranquil, Charmander, and um, with the reverse hollows, you do need to check if it's a Ditto. It's not here, and we got a Snorlax. Um, some of the Ditto cards are actually worth a couple dollars here and there, so that's why I just need to keep an eye out for. So we've got a Grass Energy, Aridos, Charmeleon, Pupitar, Bulbasaur, Numel, Bulbasaur, Double Bulbasaur Pack, we've got an Onyx, a Bibarel, a Ditto Bidoof, I will sleeve this up and double check it um, afterwards, that's good to see, and a Moltres Holographic. Um, funny enough, the most expensive ditto at the moment is the Spinarak. That I will need to check. I felt like um, at the start of this video that I didn't explain the series well enough. Um, 
that's something that I feel like I need to definitely work on. But here we go. We've got a Lightning Energy. Candela, a um, regular version. We've got a Slowbro. Blanche. Numel. Bulbasaur. Onyx. B-Barrel. Slowpoke. A Reverse Airy Palm. And an Alolan Executor V. I will sleeve this up just in case. Okay, so we've got a Vista marker here. A Pokestop, Wartortle, we've got a Rare Candy, Meltan, Eevee, Pikachu, a Squirtle that is upside down, we've got a Slowpoke, Reverse Onyx, and an Articuno Hollow. So two packs remaining. Okay, we've got a Fire Energy, Pokestop, Slowbro, Candela, Eevee, Charmander, Apom, Bulbasaur, Numel, we got a Snorlax Reverse, and a Dragonite V. Okay. I actually forgot this was in here. Uh, a lot of my Pokemon Go openings have revolved around Mewtwo and pulling the Mewtwo cards over and over again. So it's actually really surprising to see a different V. Because I forgot how many were actually in this set. Okay, so starting off with, we've got a Psychic Energy, Slowbro, Lunatone, Ivysaur, Charmander, Bidoof, Wimpod, P Dove, Magikarp, a Reverse Numeral, no Radiant Pokemon. Okay, so this is the final card here for the opening. We have a Blissey Holographic. Uh, so that is it. Um, so guaranteed to get this Candela into the folder. Um, just need to double check with the Dragonite Exe Executor and Bidoof. Um, the Candela is only just over two dollars, so it barely makes it in. Um, and it didn't really matter which one of the promos, I, which version I chose. Um, they're all within. Um, they're all going to make it into the fold regardless. This was the middle one. Um, Spark being the most expensive, um, just by like twenty cents or something like that. Um, but that is um, this video. Uh, I do have a slightly, um, well, a bit of a unique one for next time, and that is going to be prize support, um, which will be interesting. Um, basically, getting um, what would be the prize support for the events that if you were to attend that's what you would most likely get um that being said i'll go into a bit more detail next time and so well that will be an interesting one because i'll be doing multiple different card games so hopefully you get to you'll come back to watch that one um enjoy the rest of the day and i'll see you all next time See ya.